Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Draft Day Sports Pro Football 20. We're with the Dallas Cowboys. This is Season 7, Episode 2. Just a reminder, go hit that like button right now. Drop down and make a comment. And that will register you for the free giveaway for a copy of this game that we will be drawing the winner on Christmas Eve, December 24th of this year, 2019. Just in case somebody pulls this up like in six years and uh, says, hey, where's my copy of the game? Uh, it's 2019, guys, in real life. 2025 in the game, though. We're in Season 7. Uh, if you want to check out the rules, the link to the uh, rules are in the description, uh, which is the introduction video. So uh, check that out. And uh, register, man. Register. One registry per person. Don't forget but comment on every video. We love the comments. I love the comments and I love the likes. Uh, so what has happened? Well, we've had the preseason. We've had training camp. So let me kind of show you something on training camp. You know how we have fatigue every year? We still have fatigue, but they're all probable. Uh, nobody's out. So what I did is I only went up one point in physical training to 23 points instead of the 24 points that I normally do. And that appears to have helped. I think the other thing that we can do is you can rotate these players, uh, maybe the starters for the second game where they don't play at all. Um, I don't know, just something to think about. But that's going on there. All right, we're going to go in and reset the depth charts here. I had Oaks start. Uh, Reuter was the backup. Prescott was third. And we put Watt, Dion, and Nelson in the backfield. We're going to go ahead and rotate that. And you can see Reuter has fallen to third. I have put him on the trade block. Barrera is going to be our starting back, but I've put him on the trade block. I may not trade him if he starts really showing something, but we'll see. And then Watt and Nelson are our backups. That puts Dion, who I think is actually our fastest running back, off the board. So we're going to have to make some... Oh, you know what? I need to make some changes here anyway. Um, roster, 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 roster management, um, da, 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 da. auto adjust. All right. So Ruiz, wasn't he our, oh, he was our fourth round pick. Okay. Uh, wrap our last round pick this past year and Vasquez, that kicker that we're going to probably let go. All right. So let's go back. Back to depth charts. All right, let's redo this just to make sure everybody's on the same page. All right, we're going to do that. Defense, we'll let our defensive coordinator pick that and save. And then special teams, I'll let the OC pick that. Save package. So we've got uh, Denmark, Barrera, and Doyle kick returners. Denmark, Seeley, and Barrera punt returners. All right, let's run through real quick. Uh, we want to look at our roster so you can see what the rookies look like. And we will sort by position. All right, so here's our three guys. So you can see Oaks, zero experience. So if we look at intelligence, Prescott has him, but not by a ton. I mean, you know, it's nine points, but accuracy, Oaks is already better. So I think we have found the quarterback of the future for us. Prescott is 32, and uh, we may try to trade him. I don't know, and cut that $7.5 off the books. Not this year. I really want to give Francis uh, one or two seasons on the bench, uh, but that's, uh, that's pretty good. And he's got a decent arm, too. I mean, you know, 72, but, you know, remember, arm's the least important, but... I think a year or two with his intelligence building and his accuracy is already there. All right, running back. Uh, if we look at sort by speed, uh, Gerald Watt is our fastest guy. Lon Dion is our second fastest guy. Barrera and then Franklin Nelson. Remember when we drafted him, he was our second running back. We knew he was not fast, but he does have the highest strength. So... I want to go look at depth chart. And it does not give me a 
third down back option. So like if we had a third down package, I think that would be where I would want him. But anyway, uh, so there, that's those two guys. Uh, there's our fullback. Nothing new there. Cooper is probable with fatigue. Tenth year, 31 years old. He's making a chunk of change. Uh, let's see. Nobody new there. All right. We do have Ryan Lopez. Let's see. Francis Garza is probable. So this is a tackle. So we want uh, run blocking. He's the worst. Not by much, but he is the worst. Pass blocking. He is actually second best. Uh, so, but Tyron Smith is our second best run blocker. So he gives us the most balance along with Lyle Collins. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, yep. Yeah, so that's what's going on there. Uh, Robert Pratt. Cousin Bob, as we call him to our kids. I don't know if he's going to be any good. Vasquez, we're going to have to let one of these guys go after the season. Uh, in fact, I think they're, well, he's probably going to retire. And Vasquez, I don't think is has developed. In, yeah, I don't know. So I don't know. I'm still not seeing the development of players getting any better. I mean, I know they do during training camp a little bit. And we'll go look at training. Uh, oh, no, I think I deleted that. Bummer. All right, uh, William Brown, defensive tackle. This was, what, our second-round pick? So defensive tackle, we've got strength. He's actually the weakest. Uh, speed, nothing special. Tackling, he is actually the best tackler, however. So we'll see what that means. Defensive end, nobody knew. I've got a couple of older players, so we've got to we've got to address that. Jalen Smith getting a little old. Uh, Ronnie Raps on the uh, practice squad, so he uh, did not make the cut. Ronald Short, uh, we'll see where he goes, but but we can see he's got uh, strength, kind of on the low end, agility on the low end, speed. He's number he's tied for number two. Uh, behind Larry Dorsey and right in front of Chubb. And so we can see Chubb is probably our best linebacker. So speed is really important. Strength has been evidently important and agility is important. So those are the three that are jumping out for him and tackling. So if we look at short, he's up there, you know, I mean, he's, He's up there and tackling. The cats are hungry. Sorry, we're actually out of food. We got to go buy food this morning. Um, Scott Arrington, uh, no cornerbacks and no safety. So th that's the squad. Let's go take a look at the preseason. Uh, we did have Oaks start. So uh, we won this one 10 to 6 over the Falcons. Oaks wasn't bad 26 out of 39, 302 yards. One touchdown, but he threw three picks. First game, so, and then you can see Watt, only 1.9 yards of carry. Dion, 3.6. That's the speed guy. And uh, Brown, only zero, uh, half a yard per carry. Uh, so that is what happened there. Second game, however, we beat uh, the Saints on the road, 37-27. <laughs> I went with the same group, and Oaks was 34 out of 50, 408 yards, three touchdowns, no picks. So, not bad. Watt, 3.7 yards a carry, uh, 13 for 48. Dion, 9.4 yards a carry. <sighs> He's not even in the depth chart, guys. He's not even in the depth chart. I got to put him there. In fact, I'm going to put him number two, and I'm going to put Watt number three. I want to get him some carries. I want to be able to judge if he's worth a shit. I, I need to figure that out. 
All right, so uh, see, week one, we are playing the Bears. So remember, we do we break down the season into three weeks, so we'll have four episodes this year. First episode was the draft and free agency. I've actually been skipping free agency, but I wanted that episode because that was the announcement for the giveaway. So typically, we'll have three episodes. We'll do, uh, we'll do the draft with games. And then we'll do games, games, and then that'll be the end of the season. And I usually skip free agency, but this year I didn't. Uh, let's see. Uh, we are picked to win the East with 11 votes. Philly got seven votes for runner-up. Uh, we do have a couple of guys on the trade block. Uh, uh, our quarterback, backup, our third-string quarterback now, uh, and our running back, who could be our starter, but we'll see. All right, so simulate the week. On the road against Dub Bears. And we lose. Oh, my God. We did lose the opener last year, remember? I think. We lost early. Ugh, that's not good. Nine yards rushing. 14 of 25 passing. Not good, Dacky. Barrera, 14 of 31. Prescott, I'm guessing he was just sacked a lot. Um, that just makes me ill. <laughs> All right, well, let's check our emails. All right. Uh, Francis Oaks got better at passing. Franklin Nelson got better hands. Can I tell? Passing is not an actual thing here, but let's see. If we look at arm. Intelligence, accuracy. I think his accuracy may have gone up. Do we bench Dak? Do we do that? I don't think we could do that coming off a 14-2 and two season. All right, week two. All right, this was a home game against Seattle, and we lose 14-11. to 11. Ow. All right. 54-yard um, rushing. Barrera, 2.6. Dion, 0 0.3. All right. Let's check the emails. A trade offer. All right. And training report. All right. So we have a trade offer. They want to sign Barrera and give us Jonathan Williams and a third round pick. I think you could do a lot with a third round pick. Barrera was a second round pick. I'm not super excited about him, but he is to that point, right? He's to that point where he might start blossoming. But you know what? I'm going to take that deal. I'm going to take the deal. I'm going to take the deal. Jonathan Williams must be making a shitload of money. Uh, let's check the roster. I should have looked at that first, probably. Uh, Jonathan Williams. Yeah, he's making 1.4. Uh, and he's 31 years old. And he just has never played. Speed. Yeah. I'm going to try to trade him. Let's put him on the trade block. Jonathan Williams. Reuter. Save. All right. Delete. All right. Let's go back into depth chart. Because Barrera's gone now, right? So we're going to... We're going with the rookie. That gives us the two rookies and the second-year running back. So we've got the young bucks in the backfield. 
All right, all right. It's time to earn your keep, boys. Because we're 0 2. We've already lost as many games as we did all of last year. 27 13. Oh, I thought somebody ran for 94 yard, yards. I thought that was us, but it wasn't. But we did run for 78 yards. All right, so we had a pick six, gave up a 95 yard kickoff return. Winston Fagan, I don't even know who that is. Is that one of our young receivers from like a year or two ago? Gerald Watt scores his first touchdown in his career. Prescott, 21 of 29 with a touchdown. Watt, 3.8. Okay. So Nelson, six carries for nine yards, a yard and a half. So the strength is not really showing up there. Um... Who caught that touchdown? Winston Fagan. Tight end, right? Yes. Second year tight end. Excellent. Uh, all right. Emails. All right. Reuter picked up some agility this week. All right. Simulate the week. Oh, 31-17, a two-game win streak. Oh, and again, somebody ran for 100 yards, but it wasn't us. All right, let's see. Prescott to Oliphant. Always nice to see him drop, pop up. Remember, he was our tight end that we drafted, I think, the first year. Second year, maybe. Franklin Nelson does put one in the end zone from the one-yard line. Nelson catches a three-yard pass. Cooper for 12 yards. Awesome. All right, let's see. Prescott, 26 of 34, 261, three touchdowns. Oaks gets his first appearance, one of two for eight yards. Watt, 20 for 97. Okay, I can live with that. And even our short yardage guy was two and a half yards of carry. Good. I'm liking that. Maybe we've turned the corner. Maybe. All right, we got some, some whiners. That's okay. You can, you can whine. Here's some cheese to go with it. All right. Uh, we're off this week. Yeah. Okay. So bye week for us. More whining. All right. Vasquez picks up some agility. I need like leg strength, dude. Leg strength. All right, week six, last week of the of this sim of this video. Home game, Detroit. Can we finish with a winning mark? That would be nice. Oh, oh, ouch, ouch. Oh, but look, Watt led the game with 18 carries for 79 yards. How did we lose? All right, let's look at it. Because we were player to game on both sides of the ball. Prescott, Oliphant with another touchdown. Will Lutz. Will Lutz. Isn't that the uh, Saints kicker, punter right now? He's not the kicker. He's a punter. But he's kicking, field, he's kicking extra points. Nice. Okay. And field goals. Prescott. Oh, Gerald Watt caught, a, caught his first touchdown pass. A lot of field goals allowed here, fellas. We outgained them. We outrushed them. We had the one turnover. All right, Prescott, 24 out of 40, 227, two touchdowns. Watt, 4.4, I will take that. Nelson Cooper. Oh, man, man, kind of disappointed, kind of disappointed. All right, let's take a look. Um, all right, so we're number 18 in points, 25th in total yardage, 31st in rushing, 14th passing. We're 10th uh, on defense, we're 10th in points, 6th in yardage, 17th against the run, and 7th against the pass. So nothing in the top. Uh, statistically, 
1,200 yards, eight touchdowns, three interceptions for Dak. 56 for 245 for Watt. 4.4. I think 4.5 is kind of that sweet spot. So 4.4 4 I could actually live with. So I'm I'm actually pretty happy with him. He was, and he, you know, he's a fourth round pick. So just like the real NFL, you can find some bargains in the in the fourth round at running back and not waste a first round pick on them. Unless they're just completely stud worthy. Uh, 29 catches, 25 catches, 23 for Oliphant at tight end. Knowlton. Yeah, We're kind of a two-horse show there in the the receiving game. Uh, kicking seven of nine, so he he only missed one all of last year. Uh, he's missed two. Pratt is averaging forty-three and a half yards a punt. Now Boswell's made two punts. I wonder why. Why has Boswell punted twice? interesting uh you know what we never were checking team news all right Dak has severe migraines brown fractured his arm um that's an issue he's the only guy i've got and he's out um Hmm. <laughs> Let's jump into free agency. Let's look at fullbacks only. And let's look at run blocking. Hmm. Is there anybody that's better? Maybe him. Speed. Strength. He's got much better strength. Caleb Trinidad. Did he play for us? Yes, he did. I'll be damned. He's a free agent. Do we bring him back? Um... Let's sign him to the active squad. Is it six hundred and sixty thousand? Three hundred thousand. Fair enough. Damn. Is there anybody else on the free agent board that we want to sign? Let's just just out of shits and giggles. Let's sort by overall. Uh, let's do all. Thank you. So I do have a deep. Um, Farnsworth. Wong. Hmm. All right. Well, let's look at our roster because we got one guy now. Roster management. Okay. So if we do auto adjust, who does it put? Ruiz, Rap, Vasquez, and Alderman, one of our strong safeties. Uh, so that keeps Brown on the active roster. And that gets us two. Two fullbacks. Yes, so Trinidad will be in there. Uh, Nelson, Nelson. I am going to move Dion up and move Nelson down a slot. It's going to be the only change I make. Oliphant, Fagan. Yeah, we're good there. All right, guys, let's take a look at the standings real quick. All right, so Detroit and Green Bay are 5-1. and one. Atlanta and the Saints are 4-2. and two. Uh, Skins are 3-3. Three and three. We're one game back in the win column. We're, we do have that bye week, so that's why we're uh, one less game. And Seattle's 4-2. and two. So we're not... We're not in danger right now. It's not like we're two or three games back like some of these clubs. So, uh, in teams, I say clubs because of my football manager. Uh, Cleveland at four and two, Colts and Titans at four and two, Patriots at four and two, Chiefs and Chargers. So, everybody in the AFC is four and two. The NFC, 
Uh, we've got a couple of five and one teams starting to run away with it. So we've got to be leery of that wild card. We are one game back in the wild card in the loss column. So, uh, yeah, we do need to win some matches here. Matches, again, with the football manager. Sorry, guys. Habit. Um, is it? I don't know, man. Is it time? He's completing 67.9% of his passes. I don't think I can bench Dak. <laughs> I don't think I can bench him. I think we found a pretty damn good quarterback in Oaks, though. So I think we have our future. Um, at what age do you get off your quarterback, though? You know, I mean, some of these quarterbacks in real life are playing till they're 40. That means Dak could have eight more years left. But Oaks, we won't be able to keep him for eight years. This could be one of those Jimmy Garoppolo situations where we – We've signed him, and then we may try to trade him near the end of his contract and maybe pick up a couple of first-rounders. Maybe. I don't know. Or maybe we try to move Dak for a first-rounder and, you know, something like that. But anyway, um, again, don't forget, hit that like button and go make a comment. You got to do both. Uh, so do both, and that enters you into the giveaway contest. We'll run the contest through Christmas Eve. I will pull the winner on Christmas Eve evening uh, around 6 p.m. is the deadline. So I'll, I'll do it sometime after 6. But at 6 o'clock, I will get on. I will finalize the list of uh, entries. I will not take any comments made after 6 o'clock on Christmas Eve. Uh, I'll answer them, but I won't put you on the, on the list to enter for the game. So heads up. Guys, thank you so much. We will see you next episode. Have a good one. Bye.